G'day you guys and girls and welcome to the first episode of our Pixamon Reborn series. My return to Pixamon playing Pixamon on my channel. Uh, I am very excited. Uh, we are playing uh, Pixamon on the uh, Pixamon Reborn mod. The link will be in the description down below. I might talk about uh, kind of the new features and stuff that have been added. Uh, they recently did an update like the right now as I'm recording this they released a new update that adds a bunch of new Pokemon. Um, we're going to start off the series by picking our starter Pokemon. Now the thing that's going to make this series a little bit different. Uh, well not really different actually. It's going back to grassroots right. We're just going to go back to normal Pixamon. I've spent a lot of time in the past playing Pixamon with like trying to do special things and trying to go too big and I've said before in my vlog if you guys missed that go check that out um that I went too big with the previous Pixamon season we're gonna go super simple uh so the only thing and I'm gonna show you guys in a second the only thing that is in the world that is already there is a house that I made it's completely empty no chests no furnaces there's no apricorns no nothing we're gonna do it all legit and I'm excited to find, like, just get back into normal, normal Pixamon um, with all of the new Pokemon that have been added. So, um, I think for this series, by the way, as you can tell, all of the starter Pokemon are shinies. We're starting off with a shiny starter because that's always fun to do. And seeing as I never get lucky enough to find a shiny in the real world uh, of Pokemon, we're going to start off with a shiny one. So, um, because we're going back to grassroots, we're going back to uh, the very beginning basic Pixamon and uh, having fun with just uh, just like the the normal Pixamon atmosphere. We're gonna go with a Gen One Pokemon because everyone loves Gen One. Um, I think I've done Bulbasaur twice. I've definitely done Charmander in my Kanto series. So we're gonna go with Squirtle, Shiny Squirtle for our series. Now, uh, as you can see, oh, I started off in creative mode because I was building this house. Um, actually, I should go back into creative mode to get an NPC one, but I'll, I'll sort that out later. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the house. I'm really happy with it, especially because it just looks really cool from the outside. Uh, it's like a jungle house. Uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick on the map what the world looks like or what our little starter area looks like. So we have a forest over there, jungle over there. We've got extreme hills over there. We've got a tiger biome over there. Like we've got a lot of stuff going on right in this, right in this little kind of middle patch that we have going on here. And I thought it was a pretty cool location. Um, and it's currently nighttime. I didn't realize that. I think I've been Whoa, there's a big Pokemon back there. Um, so there is a few things that have been changed uh, with kind of this this kind of Pixelmon Reborn um, that I've got to talk about. I've got to kind of talk about just everything, that why things are different, why there's a new mod. Uh, some of you guys just may not know the details surrounding everything. But seeing as we are starting, uh, a house is near uh, a couple of patches of water. So we are going to be looking for some Magikarp to start off with. Um, just because those are always the best way to kind of start off. Oh my god, Pokeula just to start off the game. That's awesome. Grip Claw. Don't know what that does. I mean, we may as well just add that to our Squirtle. I, don't, I actually don't know what that does. I completely forget. Um, we're going to be looking, yeah, for some for some Magikarp. Um, what's down there? We got some Barboach. Eh. Eh, Magikarp are the best because they, uh, oh my god, there's a Mega, I think it's a Mega Tyranitar. Oh god, there's so much stuff going on. Um, yeah, but, uh, Magikarp are the best just because they, they don't, they're not going to kill you. You don't have to worry about them killing you. So that's why I'm kind of looking for them. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate issues. We aren't probably going to be facing that uh, just because this mod is still still being worked on, still being refined a bit, and there's a lot of things kind of added. Um, a spinner rack. I'm trying to find something that we can actually train off of, but there doesn't seem to be anything at the moment, um, unfortunately. So um, with this season, or with this this series, I'm actually not going to name it a season, but I guess technically it'd be season seven of my Pixelmon sort of stuff. Um, but we are using Pixelmon Reborn. Now, this is taking the original Pixelmon mod and adding to it. Um, so they've added all of, I think, all of Gen 6, I think, is the is the latest season. Um, except for, like, two two Pokemon, I think, for, for some reason. There was an issue with those two Pokemon. But otherwise, all of Gen 6 is added, which is... A, there is, like, over 100 new Pokemon since I last played this. Like, Palpitoad, it, that's new. That's a new Pokemon. Um, and I'm actually not too familiar with Gen 6. Um, I'm very familiar with Gen 1, 2, 3... And four, Gen 5, I start to lose a little bit of, of my knowledge. And Gen 6, I'm very unfamiliar with because I didn't play. Uh, Gen 6 was uh, X and Y, I think. I didn't play X and Y that much. Um, I don't even think I finished the game. I definitely have it. I just didn't don't think I finished it. It didn't hook me like the previous games did. Ah, there we go. There's some magic up. Um, so, yeah, we are going to be playing on, uh, on, on Pixelmon. Oh, that's level 19 there. There's a magic up down there. Let's go get that one. And uh, this series, as I said, we're just going, we're going to basics, and I'm going to change this, speaking of which, I always play Pixelmon on peaceful, because the, because there's no mobs in the game, the only thing it changes is hunger, and I think hunger is a silly thing to worry about when you're playing Pixelmon. Um, so, we're just going to be, like, we're going to have to actually mine some stone to get tools to be able to do basic stuff, like, I, I feel like I just always kind of skipped a lot of things, 
um, and it ended up just not being a good idea later on in the series. So we're just playing, we're just playing Pixelmon. Now, uh, let me see here. I wonder if the sound is off. I feel like I can't hear anything. Oh, it's pretty low. Let's turn it up to 50. As long as the music's off, I, I don't care. Um, now let's see what level you're level five. Oh, that works for me. That works for sure. Um, now I'm trying to remember if there's many other changes that I need to talk about besides a lot of new Pokemon. Now, obviously because this mod is, is, is pretty new. And it's trying to uh, ad adapt and ad uh, update on the original Pixelmon mod, um, and it's actually updating very fast. You may notice uh, a few, um, a few like glitches, a few bugs, and stuff like that. And that's stuff that we're just gonna have to deal with throughout the series. I think it's a fair trade-off for right now. All the Pokemon are spawning. Um, I think it's a fair trade-off for having uh, a lot of frequent updates and new features and new Pokemon and stuff like that. Um, you may also notice Pokemon being a bit larger sometimes. Uh, that was nothing to do with the update. That was me changing a setting um, that basically uh, makes, I, th I think what it did was either doubled the size of Pokemon or it, it, it doubled the effect of Pokemon sizes. So as you guys may know, Pokemon have various sizes. They can go from, I think maybe Pygmy is the smallest to ginormous or something like that. Um, and that's all randomly generated is what size they're going to be. Um, and so ginormous Pokemon are going to be like way bigger. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I, I mean, everything else we're going to kind of discover as the game goes on. We are going to discover all the new Pokemon. Uh, there are new legendaries. There are new mega Pokemon. There is all of this new stuff that is super exciting to kind of get back into Pixamon with. Um, if you guys are confused, some of you may be confused. Oh, I thought you quit doing Pixamon. Again, I explained uh, why I'm getting back into it. Um, uh, in, uh, see, this is a new Pokemon as well. Mian, Mian Shao. Um, how you doing? How you doing, little thing? I don't even know what type of Pokemon you are. And you're 50, level 57, so not even gonna bother with you. Um, but, uh, I explained why I'm getting back into Pixamon in my vlog. Um, uh, you know, Sushix IRL is my, is my vlog. I guess that's what I'm calling it now on. Um, I'm not gonna do them frequently. That said, uh, I have promised that if my Patreon gets to $100, then I will be doing, like, probably weekly vlogs. Um... But that's that's still a while off, I think. Um, but speaking of which, if you, I, I would recommend just go checking out my Patreon. Um, of course, not everyone can and can contribute, but if you'd really like to help me out, that is probably the best way to do so. Um, I can't find any more Magikarp, and the problem with uh, a lot of Water Pokemon is we've we've got we're starting off with the Squirtle. So I wonder if this Magikarp can kill us because it does have Tackle now. Um, we we do have a Squirtle, so we're not going to be able to like do much damage. We are next to an extreme. Ah, I didn't mean to use Tail Whip. Uh, we are next to an extreme hills biome. Now, uh, that is going to give us a lot of, like, rock-type Pokemon. Ah, we're actually going to die. Now, the problem here I'm just thinking is with dying. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually consider this. I don't know where a Pokemon Center is. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't think I've seen a Pokemon Center nearby at all. Um, and we're going to... We can't even make a bed to heal up. Maybe I should have made a bed. Um, I think... I think maybe we should have started the series with the bed. I don't want to waste any time wandering around for the rest of the first episode. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I am going to go into creative mode just to grab two items. One, a bed, because I think that's necessary. I don't want to waste any time. I feel like I'm hearing some weird noise. Oh no, it's just a Pokemon. Okay, it's just this Murkrow. Look at that giant, oh, what is it, like a hero? hero I think, I forget what it's called. Um, but uh, we are going to just grab very quickly a bed. Um, hopefully you guys don't have a problem with this. I think it's pretty necessary. And then the other thing we're going to get is something you can only get in creative mode. And it's going to be very important uh, to, to a certain aspect of my series, which is uh, NPCs. So, speaking of my Patreon, which we were talking about before, um, I'm going to be adding, so I used to do this thing where I added NPCs or I added uh, statues. I like to bring you guys into my series as much as possible. Um, and I would add NPCs of you guys or, or, or statues or something like that. Um, what I'm going to be doing this series is regular viewers are going to be renaming my Pokemon and my, any patron, even if you're a $1 a month patron, which is the lowest you can be, um, and it's pretty cheap in my opinion, $1 a month patron, uh, you will always become an NPC or, a, or, or be put into any of my series ever. Uh, whatever, as, as long as you're still a patron. Um, so speaking of which, I'm going to start off putting the first NPC down of uh, I'm only going to put one uh, patron this episode just because I messaged all the patrons on my discord um, and only one of them got back to me so far. So Siobhan is our is one of our patrons um, and I'm going to just, his Minecraft username is also Siobhan. Just going to shove him in there. Um, I'm going to put NPCs to kind of just wander around a lot um, just so they're always kind of there. Um, let's see. So wandering, 
And we're going to put it at like 20. We're going to double it. Movement speed. Ah, that's fine. Animation, sneaking, aiming, dancing, crawling, hugging, normal. Um, and stop on interact range. Yeah, that seems all good. Um, so we've got Sivan, one of our, he's been a, uh, a, 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 what do you call it? A patron for like ages. Um, so big shout out to him. Now we've got another magic up over there. Again, the magic up before killed us. I think it'd be worth going over to the extreme hills biome and trying to, uh, trying to train off of some like geo dudes or something. And, uh, there's a lot of new Pokemon I can already see over there. Oh my God. These frame rate issues though are a little bit frustrating. I don't know what's causing it or how we could fix it. Um, we do have, I think we've got, what do you call it? Um, uh, Optifine installed. There is maybe some stuff we could do. We don't have any shaders, uh, on. Uh, frame rate's unlimited. Render distance is pretty short. Maybe we could even make that shorter. Um, render distance doesn't matter too much when you're playing Pixelmon. Lagometer, weather, I don't even, I don't even know what any of this stuff does. I mean, we'll leave it at now. It's not too bad, because if we look at F3, it's recording at, like, 300 FPS, but it has, like, like... It'll, it'll stop for a second, which is what frustrates me most. That's always happened when I record Pixelmon is at very high frame rate until it just like stops for a second, which is very annoying. But we do have some Geodudes and a Graveler. I think we can take on this Geodude. It is a, a very high level compared to us, but we can like one hit it nearly, which is awesome. Um, I think I just slightly resized the window. That's not good. That's fine. It probably won't just change that much anyway. Uh, take all. We are level 10. We may be able to get our war turtle this episode. And another big thing is because we're trying to do everything legit, we're trying to not spawn in too much. I think it was necessary for us to spawn in the bed. Um, but otherwise, we're not going to be starting with the, you know, a chest or, you know, uh, anything kind of basic like that. Um, it is going to be difficult for us to catch Pokemon, but I want to make sure by the second episode we are catching new Pokemon. Um, so to do that, we do have to go find some apricorns. Um, this Graveler, I don't think we can kill him. Um, also the thing with spawning a bed, we don't, I didn't spawn in a Poke Healer specifically. I spawned in a bed. So it does add a bit more of a challenge. It means we can only heal our Pokemon when it's nighttime. Um, so that is a, that is a thing. Um, and I, I, you know, I hope that you guys are all okay with that. Um, I probably should have planned it, um, to, to have, have, have it spawned in before we started the series. Cause that makes a lot more sense than spawning it in, in the middle of the first episode. Um, but I felt that it was it was better than just wandering around for half an hour in the first episode trying to find a Pokemon Center or trying to... I mean, we pretty much would have had to have just found a Pokemon Center, so... I think it was the best thing to do. Now, uh, see, I don't know Pokemon like this. Mian, Mianfu, that's the, probably the pre-evolution of the Genfu or something? I don't remember what the Pokemon that we ran into before. Um, what we might do is, because we are starting off legit, I am going to need to do some basic... Minecrafty stuff, which is like punching trees. Um, we do have this extreme hills biome, which does have a few caves, I believe. So we are going to be able to get cobblestone's obviously easy, but hopefully we'll be able to get some coal and some iron and stuff to make some tools. Um, we are going to need some iron for the anvil to be able to make some pokeballs. Um, and to make pokeballs, we need some reds and we need to find some whites um, of some uh, of some apricorns. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, now this GUI. Oh wait a minute, this GUI. What I'm going to do, ooh, okay, so resource packs, there's actually a much better GUI that's included with it, but it changes the sprites of the Pokemon, which I don't like. I prefer the pixelized um, sort of sprites, um, and that's part of my my Pixelmon's, uh, my, my Sushix's Pixelmon mix pack, you can see there, has the has the um, pixelated sprites, so that's why that was a head, but I actually really, really like the GUI that's added in SK55's Pixelmon upgrade, um, which automatically comes with the Pixelmon Reborn uh Technic pack, which I'm using. So as you can see, the Squirtle um, sprite changed. So I'm going to fix that before next episode. But look at this GUI. It is so awesome. I love this. This is so good. Now, uh, we are going to need to make... We may need to just go back home so we can create... Uh, like, oh, you know, we'll put down a crafting table and stuff at home. And we may even make a chest. Where is my home? I should probably set a waypoint to it. But I never lose it because I feel like I am just going to lose it. Definitely just over here somewhere. On the, on the, on the edge of... Uh, Oh my god, look at the look at the Pokemon. What what Pokemon is that? Uh it is called Basculin. See, look at all this new stuff. I'm so excited, like, to play Pixelmon again because there's more Pokemon. Um, I did explain in my vlog that, you know, part of the reason why I'm getting back into Pixelmon is because it's now being updated again. Um, even when Pixelmon wasn't dead like it is now, like Pixelmon is, the, the official Pixelmon mod, the first one, is gone. They're no longer releasing it or anything like that. Even when that was still going in development, they released updates so infrequently that it felt like the mod wasn't actually changing at all. Um, and now, because we have two different mods, we've got Pixelmon Reborn and Pixelmon Dark. 
and both of these are basically competing for for like you know Pixelmon players. And what that does is it means that the development is going to be a lot faster and a lot more exciting uh, because there's going to be two different mods competing to be the best Pixelmon mod. I think that's awesome. Holy crap, that's a mega shiny swampert thing? Like, holy crap, we, we won't even be able to try and face that. Um, I think, yeah, they've got a lot more megas um, in this, so that's going to be awesome to kind of mess around with. I don't think I've ever, even in previous series, ever really messed around with mega Pokemon um, or got like the mega mega orb thing. I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to get some cobblestone here to get some basic stone tools going. Um, I do want to try and get a war total this episode, um, just in the first episode. I think that's a good thing to try and go for. Um, if you guys are wondering about my textures, um, I'm using a mix. My mix pack consists of Pixel Perfection, Sfax, and a few textures like this one, which I kind of edited myself. Um, so, um, I may be making some changes to the texture pack. I like to make some changes to the texture pack and update it to make it a little bit more custom, a little bit more unique. I'll probably be releasing it. Uh, publicly for you guys. It is available in a mod pack I made ages ago, so if you want to go dig for that, you can find it. But I'm thinking I might make an official uh, Technic mod pack, another one with that inv that involves Pixamon Reborn and is um, also going to be advertised heavily for my Pokepeak server, which will be updating most likely to Pixamon Reborn as well. Um, so that's something that may come about in the future, so that'll also have this texture pack probably. Now, see, this is why I don't like these sprites. They look so weird compared to before. Um, all right, let's head back home and make some tools. And uh, and then we will have to get some apricorns. I haven't been able to find many yet. Actually, well, I haven't been able to find any. Wait, let's just grab this. These are some berries, not some apricorns. Yeah, so there's a lot of berries around, not any apricorns. Um, why is Siobhan just hanging out in the corner? Run around, dude. I gave you the ability to wander around. Um, but if you guys want to be in the series like Siobhan, um, don't forget to leave Pokemon renames. So that's going to be something for all all of you guys to be able to do is Pokemon renames. And I'm going to try and remember to do Pixabon code words. I know you guys enjoy doing those. Um, so those are the two things that you guys are going to be mainly commenting and contributing to. If you would like to become an NPC, uh, you get a lot of control over, uh, I'm happy to like make you say a certain line or look a certain way or say a certain, you know, or I already said say a certain thing, but you know, stuff like that. Uh, if you guys have any uh, specific kind of requests like that, I think that's a hammer. There we go. Um, what else is there? A shovel. I think we're good after that. Um, yeah, just be become a patron and $1 a month is the lowest lowest one you can do um, I'm going to have to only add NPCs after they've already uh, Paid for the first month, which is only on the first of each month I believe so you'll have to get in before the first of September. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till the first of October um, Which will which will be a bit of a wait. So um, you'd want to get in quick um, Or you're gonna have to wait till like yeah the first of each month when it kind of ticks over um, Now we I'm just gonna go looking for apricorns right now um, we're finding a lot of berries. There is a, like a moss kind of rock thing, which is good if we ever want to get um, Leafeon in the future. I think Leafeon's pretty cool. We have gotten Leafeon in previous uh, Let's Play series, but we've definitely not gotten all of the EV evolutions. That's something we could definitely aim for. Now we got a yellow one. Yellow is good for uh, getting Ultra Balls. Um, Ultra Balls just are harder to make at the beginning of a series. So that's why I'm trying to go for Pokeballs. Maybe some Great Balls. Uh, oh my, okay. Well, we got yellow and we got black, which are the two ones we need for Ultra Balls. So I guess the game wants us to make Ultra Balls straight off the bat. I mean, it's good we got these, but I feel like we won't be able to make them immediately. Black, another one. I'm going to be placing these back at home. And I'm probably just going to be placing them in random kind of places um, near our home. I don't want to have like a set apricorn area yet until we've got... Uh, until it's a lot easier to kind of farm them. Um, Yeah, we need... We need red or we need white, which we don't seem to be getting any of. A bit frustrating. Um, okay, give me the berries. Just going to collect berries, of course. They're going to come in handy later on. Um, we got some yellows, so we're just only getting yellows and blacks. Apricorn, uh, Ultra Ball Apricorns, apparently. That's all the game wants to give us, which is kind of cool that we're getting these, but I would like some... Uh... Some Pokeball or some Great Balls. Just because I feel like it makes more sense to start the series off with the easiest stuff to make. I believe you get multiple Pokeballs um, with with it. Whereas Ultra Balls, you only get like one. I think it's like two black and one yellow makes one Ultra Ball. Whereas like two red and one white or something make like 
three Pokeballs or two Pokeballs or something like that. I feel like the ratios are better. Um, but I, I'm struggling to find any Apricorns, really. I don't know if they've always been this low on spawning. I guess I've never really... I mean, I think I've already started a series with either a Mechanical Anvil, which definitely speeds up Pokeball making, or I've just found Pokeballs, um, or I've given myself Pokeballs to start off the series. Um, so I definitely want this series to be a lot more legit, uh, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, we're just gonna be playing a lot more Pixelmon and a lot more Minecraft instead of, I don't know, I don't even know what to call what I did in the past. Um, okay, so we will have to make a furnace. I'll do that in the crafting table. And we will place down the apricorns that we have. I'm gonna put that there. Um, okay, so the apricorns we're gonna place down like just along the edge here, I think, like something like this. And I have sped up the, um, the, the speed, I guess, multiplier of apricorns. Um, so they're a little bit faster. I think they may be three times as fast, which is going to be good. Um, you know what? While it's turning dark, we may as well try and train. Because if we die, we can just heal instantly. Um, I've also... What else have I changed? I changed one more thing. I can't think of it. I can't think of what I changed. Um, so, oh, no. Um, so Pixman has got this uh, config setting that allows you to... Oh, that basically says, oh, you can only have a certain amount of plants in a certain chunk. Um, and I don't like that setting. I don't understand why they have that. So I turned that off, basically. So we can have as many as we want. Oh my god, that's a shiny spinder! A shiny's more frequent? Or did we just get super lucky to find a shiny spinder? I mean, I can't really catch it. I don't have any Pokeballs. It's the first episode spinder. Um, we could try and kill you. Uh, but again, you're nine levels higher and we don't have any, like... I think we'll just leave the shiny spinder as is. That's kind of cool, though. I wonder if shinies are just more frequent within Pixelmon Reborn. Or if we just got super lucky. Um, Geodude's definitely where we want to be training. Um, Water Gun. Look at the GUI. It looks so much better. Oh my god, we might actually die. Oh, right, there we go. Woo, we got lucky. Um, take all. Now, do we have any Oran Berries? Because Oran Berries will heal us. No, we do not. Okay. Look at this. Oh my god, I love the new Pokemon. And the models actually look good. They don't look rushed. Um, which is, which is a nice thing to see. Water Gun. Yeah, didn't even use Sturdy. Bubble! Okay, Bubble is better, right? No, they're, they're the same. Okay, we'll get rid of Tail Whip. Um, but uh, Bubble and... Oh, no, wait, doesn't Bubble have a certain chance of... No, maybe not. I guess Bubble and Water Gun are pretty much the same. Oh, and we died. Yeah, so the thing with Geodudes is we can probably one-hit all of them, but they have a passive um, called Sturdy, which means that a certain amount of the time, they actually can't be one-hit KO'd, which is really annoying because, I mean, we should be able to one-hit KO stuff. Um... Like, that Geodude, I mean, most most rock Pokemon actually have the sturdy thing, which is which is very frustrating to kind of work with. I think maybe Onyx has it as well. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's a very specific thing to Geodude. I know Graveler has it, um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure. But it's just frustrating to try and train off of when you want to one-hit things and get things done fast. Uh, okay. Um, oh, I meant to mention earlier on in the series... Um, actually, I might even, I'm not sure if I'll do, like, a little intro at the start of this to kind of welcome people and explain things. I don't know. But, uh, don't forget to leave a like on this, guys. Leave a like on this series. Uh, show your support as best as possible. Um, we all want to see Pix1 kind of reborn, uh, as it were. So, um, make sure to support it as best as you can. Um, and, uh, we'll be doing a lot of videos, kind of. Um, I'm gonna try and do frequent Pix1 videos, because, I mean, everyone wants to see it, and I think that it deserves, uh, frequent episodes to kind of make some good progress. At the same time, I'm also going to be doing videos on the Pixelmon Reborn updates um, that come about, and uh, maybe even the Pixelmon Dark updates as well, even though I won't be playing that on this series. I had to decide on a mod that we were going to use, and I decided on Reborn. Um, I talked to the staff, and they seemed a lot nicer. Why am I only getting yellows and blacks? What is going on? I need some whites and reds. What's, what's happening? Where's my white and red apricorns? Um, yeah, these frame spikes are a little bit weird. It's also going to be happening a, a bit... Uh, at the start of this series, just because we are rendering a bunch of chunks. I wonder if I have anything going at the moment. I mean, I have League of Legends client open, but I don't think that's going to affect it much. And maybe our OBS, my recording is maybe just doing a little bit too much. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if there's... Because you can see, like, our frame rates at, in the 300, 400s sometimes, but it just has, like, moments where it goes... It just skips for a second, and it's very frustrating. Uh, Magikarp, come here. You won't have tackle, so this is going to be pretty easy. Um, we are a level higher as well, so that's always nice. Um, and yeah, we're not we're not risking kind of our Pokemon dying in the middle of the day. 
Uh, so when it gets nighttime, we are going to be risking our training a little bit more. Um, but during the day, I definitely want to look for apricorns. So next episode, we can make some um, pokeballs and uh, and catch something. Just something simple, maybe like a Pidgey or something of the new. Oh my god, is that Mega Aerodactyl? Holy crap! See, this is why this is why we had to get back into Pokemon. Look at this! Look at this beauty! Oh my god, I can't wait to get into Mega Mega Pokemon because it's something I've never touched yet in all my Pixelmon times. You know, I started to fall off of Pixelmon when Mega Pokemon came in. So, yeah, I haven't really got gotten really into it. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. Oh my god, we got some wood. Sometimes you get wood from getting berries. That's interesting. Okay. Um, Pikachu, Pachirisu. Uh, I'm not getting any. Pe I'm not getting any, any apricorns. What's going on? Hmm? I'm not getting any apricorns. Where are some apricorns? Ah, man, was hoping was hoping for some apricorns. Not happening. Um, I think we need to. Oh, I want to do a code word. And because we found a shiny Spinder, we found a shiny Pokemon. But in the first episode, we have no Pokeballs to catch it. Um, I think our code word for today it should be um, uh, uh. I mean, shiny Spinder seems a bit basic. The code word should be. Uh, 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 special spinder? No. Special, shiny spinder? No. Uh, should be, d uh, uh, dizzy, dizzy special. Dizzy special. There you go. That is the code word for today. Comment that down below if you're a cool person and you get, and you, uh, you know, you watched late enough in the video to know the code word. We do have a grotto here, which will give us an awesome item. It's pretty much a pokey loot. Free pokey loot. If it gives us an ultra ball, that'd be super cool. What do we get? What do we get? Dynamic punch. Okay. I wonder if Squirtle can learn that or like War Turtle. <gasps> Eevees! Oh my god. These models for the Eevees look so cool. I don't know if Pixamon made that or if Pixamon Reborn did that. But I haven't seen these models for Eevees. It looks so awesome. Um, okay. Apricorns. I wonder if Apricorns only in sp spawn in certain biomes. Maybe we're just looking in the wrong place for them. Uh, I'm not going to pick up berries as much. I feel like I'm not sprinting. Why am I not sprinting? I feel like the entire series I've not been sprinting. Maybe I've been... Maybe there's a controls thing. Movement sprint. Left control. I mean, it should just be double tap up, right? How do I make it double tap up like normal? Uh, okay. Left control. I feel like I'm not sprinting at all. Or maybe I am. Yeah, maybe I have been sprinting and I'm just, like, losing my mind. That's fine. That's fine. I can lose my mind. Um... Where are some apricorns? It's not looking good. Um, but I really like the area that we started off with. We've got so many different biomes around us. So right now, I think we're in a birch forest. We've got a normal forest. We've got a tiger biome. We've got a jungle. We've got an extreme hills. We have... Oh, that's about it. And the only things we don't have... Jungle, I'm glad we've started here. Because that's a rare biome to find. Um, and the only other rare biomes we have to find are like an icy one and a mesa. A mesa is always frustrating me trying to find because that's where you find beldums and stuff. Oh, I'm stuck. Good thing we made some tools. Oh god, these frame spikes. What are you doing to me? Uh, uh, maybe a jungle it was not the best place for uh, performance as well. Um, but we are rendering a lot of new kind of chunks and stuff in a jungle. So you are going to expect those kind of uh, frame issues. Hopefully it doesn't affect the video too much. Um, okay, get up here. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get any apricorns here. It is kind of hard to find apricorns in a jungle biome. So we're going to have to send, if, if go somewhere a little bit more desolate, I think. Um, but yeah, just seeing all these new Pokemon in the game is, is so much more fun to kind of, like, we're going to be discovering new Pokemon every episode that, I mean, like, that we haven't seen before. Whereas before it was like, okay, we're running into all the same Pokemon from before. Um, and we're just trying to catch them and train them and do it all over again. But now we've got new stuff and it's going to be updating faster than I can cover it, basically. Like, I'm not going to be able to catch all the new Pokemon before they release another update. Um, they're doing new models and stuff as well. I know that they, I think they did a new model for Aerodactyl and you saw the Mega Aerodactyl as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I might do a, a video after this that's like Pixelmon Reborn, the latest update, because as I said, just came out. And just go over all the new features and, uh... Maybe even go over all the Pokemon they have in it. I'm not too sure. Maybe it'll just be like a, a general... I don't know. You could do that. You can make a path with just a shovel. That's kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, I might just go over all of the features that Pixelmon Reborn actually has and all the Pokemon that it has added into it at the moment. So, I don't know. We'll see. 
that's some plans. If you guys would like to see that, definitely let me know in the comments as well. Um, okay. I, I definitely want to get some more training done. I definitely want to get ourselves a war turtle. And uh, we'll go check on our apricorns. I guess we can just start making... Hello, Servine. It'd be cool to catch a Snivy. Um, oh, my God. I found a blue one. So that's for a great ball. A great ball is... I think it's... Isn't it blue and yellow? Or maybe it's blue and white. Uh, I might even Google that right now. Just really quick look at a picture of a great ball. It is blue. Oh, blue and red. Ah, okay. So that is a problem. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's blue and red, I think. So we haven't found any reds yet. So we've got a blue at least. At least we know there's other apricorns out there and not just yellow and black. Um, I think I'm searching in the same areas I've already looked. So let's go back. We could possibly make an Ultra Ball next episode because we have been finding yellows and we have been finding blacks. Um, and uh, that's very useful for Ultra Balls specifically. Maybe we could just start off the bat with a lot of Ultra Balls. Uh, let's head back home. I should set our waypoint home, so... Uh, I know exactly where I'm going all the time. So we got to go. It's over this way. It's this this big bush right here. Um, so it is pretty easy to find on a map. Oh, pink! And now I don't actually know what pink makes. It probably doesn't really make anything good. Uh, I think make like stuff like a cherish ball or a friendship ball or something like that. You know, stuff that we don't really need. We only need basically red, blue, black, yellow, green, and white. Those are the only ones that are actually useful. That's basically nearly everything. Um, but pinks are not on that list of useful things. Uh, I'm getting stuck in the trees. Wait, am I going the right way? It makes a cool sound when I press M. I don't even know what M does. Um, ah, I've got to follow the river a little bit more. Um, so yeah, when you I downloaded the Pixmon Reborn mod pack. Um, and it came with like the texture is a resource pack that adds a lot of the GUI that you've got now So you can just go look up the official Pixelmon Reborn pack and get the GUI that I have the GUI um, And it also comes with a lot of extra little sound effects and stuff uh, from the games Which I really really love that sort of like immersiveness um, For for the mod pack. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely so far I'm definitely just like in support of Pixelmon Reborn and people are gonna argue which one's better Reborn or Dark I've just had a better experience so far with, with Reborn and, and talking to the Reborn community and the Reborn staff and uh, the mod pack that they've got going on and stuff like that. And they've just added a big update. So yeah, I, I'm going to be playing on Reborn and probably favoring Reborn a little bit. Now, our Apricorns, how are you going? You're not. Maybe you've grown, a, one of you have grown a little bit. God damn it. All right, let's get all of, rid, rid of all of this grass and plant the rest of these Apricorns. They're going to be fully grown by next episode, which is going to be nice. Um, okay, let's put that there. We are going to have to store some stuff away. Uh, yellow as well. There we go. Okay. So we are starting on our, on our apricorns. Um, now they can't be planted in some areas. Alrighty. Ah, there you go. Plant, plant, plant. There you go. Some areas they just can't be planted just because of spacing and stuff. Uh, now get out of my house, dude. What are you doing in here? I can't even battle you to kill you because you're level 20. Um, oh, we have no chests. Let's fix that. Um, let's go there. Now we only have one, but that should be enough for now anyway. I don't know why I put it there. Oh my god, this GUI is so good. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Now get out of my house, please. <laughs> why are you just hanging out of my house? Oh god. Um, okay, so some of these are actually growing quite fast now. They're actually, they're actually making some effort. Maybe we need to stand near, like be in this area for them to really grow. Where have we not gone? Over to, I mean... Do apricorn trees really grow that much in extreme hills? I'm not too sure. The sun is setting though, which means we should go towards the extreme hills anyway, just to do some training. Um, I didn't realize how long this episode was actually going for. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to end it soon, or this could be a really, really long episode, like 40 minutes long for the first episode. Ah, God. I don't want it to go for that long, because that is that is crazy long, actually. Um, let's just... I, I really quickly want to train. Um, we're probably not going to be able to find any any apricorn trees or anything, but give me like a graveler or something. Um, Clefairy, no. Um, uh, ee, ooh, ah, ee, ooh. Nothing. We may have to just wrap it up here. We got a hip on top. We got a mega alakazam, which is looking so sexy. Uh, nothing else, no geodudes, unfortunately. Geodudes or even graveler. Like you give me a graveler, I'll battle a graveler. A giant metatite, which is pretty cool. Uh, anything else? Anything else cool? We've got a Wisma, we've got a Starly Graveler! Yes! What level are you? 
you are 31. Way too high, but I'm going to do it anyway. Killed me immediately. Alrighty, well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below your rename for Squirtle. We will have more renames in the future as we catch more Pokemon. Um, don't forget to leave the code word down in the comments down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pixelmon and gaming. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.